I created a little UI application to make it easier to run the DINet application. Basically, you provide an input video and input audio and click generate. Let's test it out. Here is the MP4 video I will use. And the wave audio. Today we will be installing wave to lip, which will let us make pictures and videos. You can provide the input files by either typing them into the text boxes or by clicking the browse buttons. Or you can drag and drop them into the text boxes. I will drag and drop the files. And then simply click generate. First, it will call the open face application with the video file to generate the CSV file. On the top right is the application log of what the app is doing right now. On the bottom is the shell output, which you would see if you were to run it through a conda prompt. Notice it said removing extra columns. I couldn't figure out how to programmatically have the columns we would get through the open face UI after unchecking the menu items. Maybe I will look into the CLI of OpenFace in the future, but for now, it just removes the extra columns from the CSV. I also coded it to remove all the extra files and folders it creates during the run and have only one output video file get created in the Asserts Inference Results folder. It should auto-launch the output when it finishes. Today we will be installing Wave to Lip, which will let us make pictures and videos talk the words we want. Another thing I did was use FFmpeg to convert the input video and audio files if they were not an MP4 and WAV files. Here is an MOV file and an MP3 file. These files won't work with DINet, so let's give it a try and see if our app converts them before using DINet. In order for this to work, you must have FFmpeg installed on your computer and added to path environment variable. I will leave a link to the video where I install that on my computer. Notice it says input audio is not a wave, and input video is not an MP4, and it is converting them. It created this MP4 and this wave file which it is using for DINet. Skipping ahead. Today we will be installing Wave to Lip, which will let us make pictures and videos talk the words we want. I also coded it to convert an image to an MP4, so that way we can also use image inputs. Let's test it. I provided a JPEG image as the input video. Let's see what happens. Notice it says input video is not an MP4. It has used FFmpeg to convert the image to an MP4 and then pass that on to DINet. Here is the image for reference. The generated video should be auto-popping up any second now. Today we will be installing Wave to Lip, which will let us make pictures and videos talk the words we want. We could also use an MP4 as the audio input, since FFmpeg will convert it to a Wave first anyways. Well, like I said, I can't speak to intelligence matters, but uh, I, I find it hard to trust much of what comes out of the Chinese comment. I think I will use that as the input video. Uh, we are expecting the former president to address the impeachment. And this is the input audio. It says input audio is not a WAV file, converting it. It created this WAV file for DINet. Uh, we are expecting the former president to... Uh, we are expecting the former president to address the impeachment, and so that might be the settling scores piece of the speech. But he's also, I am told, going to talk about the future of the Republican Party, how he sees it, how he sees the future of the conservative movement. And just going back to what Pat... The output video files are stored in the Asserts Inference Results folder. The application has a config file. Here you can change these if your installs are different. The DINet Conda environment, OpenFace install directory, and the DINet install directory information is retrieved by the app from here. I have uploaded the code and EXE release to GitHub. I will leave a link to this. You can scroll down and click this link under Releases. 
You can download this zip file. It has the exe and the config file. You should be able to run the exe if you have Visual Studio installed. It uses Microsoft.NET Framework 4.7. This is my first time uploading to GitHub, and I have no idea if this will work for others or not. Let me know if you have issues running it. Here are the components I have installed for Visual Studio. Python.NET C++ UWP If needed, you can get the .NET framework separately from here. I will leave a link. We can also clone the repository and open the solution file with Visual Studio. Click the Start button to run it. I have no idea what this is. I think it is something from when I was trying to figure out how to include an installer. Ignore it and move on. And now you can use the application compiled from code. Let's go back to Visual Studio to see the code. Here is the form in Designer View. You can modify, add or remove any of the controls from here. You can right-click and click View Code to see the source code. And in the designer, you can click on each element to modify its properties or location or size, and so forth. If you right-click on a control and click Properties, it brings up the Property window, which has a lot of options and details for each control you click. Well, that is all for now. I will leave links to the prerequisite install video in the description. This little application just makes it a bit more convenient to use the DI Net. Let me know if you encounter any issues installing or using the app. I did not test any edge case or scenario not discussed in this video, so there may be bugs and issues. Anyways, until next time, enjoy!